It is very essential to cut costs in poultry production to stay afloat and also to make profit. With this continuous increase in prices of feed and feed materials, there is much need for every poultry farmers to watch this video in which I'm about to list various ways you can cut cost of production. A lot of poultry farms are being shut down due to high cost of feed and this prompt me to make this video. Ensure to watch till the end because every aspect is very essential as I will discuss practical ways that will help you to cut cost of production and the fourth point will surprise you and also I'm going to include a bonus point. What's up my people? Welcome to Life of a Farmer Loaf. You can also follow me on my Facebook page at Life of a Farmer Loaf for regular updates. I remain your anchor Ishokri of Okironye. You can call me Ovorons. On this channel, we discuss farming in details, how to grow your farm, challenges faced by farmers and how to control them. So ensure to subscribe and click the bell icon for regular updates. Give this video a like, comment and share for others to benefit. Without wasting your time, let's dive into the main cocoa. The essence of every business is to make profit. And in order to achieve this, you must prioritize various ways to reduce or minimize the total cost of production. The most gulping farm expenses is feed. And when it comes to poultry production, feed accounts for approximately 70 to 80% of total cost of production. So on this video, our major aim will be focused on feed. First step is to clamp down on theft and pilfering. Actually, theft and pilfering is one big challenge among poultry farmers and is a reoccurring incident on the farm right in or out of your presence. Just to cushion the effect of the current economic challenges of the economy and to meet up family and other needs, some farm workers or attendants have resorted to stealing farm products. This include eggs, poultry beds, poultry feed, even medications among others. This has a great and negative impact not only on the farm but also on the farmer as well. As it will reflect on the production and cost decline and huge effect on the farm profits. The best way to overcome this is to ensure proper farm record. You should have daily record of farm products such as egg laid daily, feed used or consumed daily, medications used, quantity of feed brought into the farm and others on a daily basis. This act of good record keeping will inflict fears on the farm attendants and the freedom to steal will be reduced drastically. The second is on medication and biosecurity. Prevention they say is better than cure. Never compromise your poultry bed's health when it comes to medication and biosecurity measures. Do not see it that there is no money or the particular drug is too expensive. Hence, you didn't administer certain medication or vaccine. The resultant effect is devastating. Administer your bed's vaccination as at when due with no shortcuts and with the desired dosage. Give preventive medication because once there is disease outbreak, you will end up spending four times and even more than the money you don't want to spend. And this will cause huge loss. A good example is this. Administering Lasota vaccine for your brellas or layers when necessary is far cheaper than not administering it. And when your beds are infected with new castle disease, you will spend huge money on it. This is pennywise, pounds foolish. Try as much as possible to reduce unnecessary wastage, such as cracking of eggs, administering of excess water during medication, which your beds cannot consume within 24 hours. You will end up pouring it away, that is wastage. It is better to give your beds water of medication every 3 to 6 hours that they will consume and is even more effective than mixing that which will last them for 24 hours. Also ensure to create and follow all biosecurity measures to reduce incidence of disease outbreak on the farm. This include proper foot dip and disinfection of poultry pen with disinfectant that are also consumable by your beds. And there are a lot of them in the vet shops Always remember that prevention is far cheaper and better than cure. The third point is farm workers or farm attendants 
and this has to do with manpower. To make profit, you have to cut cost of production. This step is taken not out of wickedness, but to cut cost of production and to remain in business. Work personnel should never be more than the birds. In poultry farming, the ideal workers to farm ratio is one farm worker or one farm attendant to 500 birds in deep litter system and one farm attendant to 1000 beds in battery cage system. Doing this will checkmate excessive spending on the farm. This area I'm about to talk about is the fourth and the most important of them all and it's about feed. Feed account for 70 to 80 percent of total cost of production. If this can be reduced to around 60 to 70, it is a huge profit for the farmer and I will list areas about how you can attain this in regards to feed wastage and one way is to avoid rodent and wild birds from entering or tampering with the feed wild birds that gain entrance into the farm feed on the poultry birds feed you might think that they don't consume much due to their sizes but they consume more than you think they compete with the poultry birds for feed by reducing the ratio already given to them this will affect your production and there is likely causes of transmitting infection to your beds and this also applies to rodents because when they have access to the feed and when they infect your bed you spend money on medication still on about feed the next is feed wastage when feeding ensure that feed pouring on the floor is avoided if a bed is to consume 125 kg of feed and while feeding some feed spilled on the ground on several occasions and you are to gather them up you will be surprised that about 500 to 1000 gram has spilled on the floor and this is roughly feed for about four to eight beds for that day that you have wasted also ensure that feeders that causes feed wastage should be avoided by all means in fact i have a video about feeders and how you can identify good and durable feeders that will reduce feed wastage the last aspect i want to talk about on feed before i give you my bonus point is the type of feed to use there are different farmers preferences to this but when it comes to feed management and control of wastage pelletized feed is the best to use pelletized feed ensures that birds properly consume every feed Note that even when there are no feed in the feeders, their crop which is a temporary stomach is filled with feed. Also, when feed spilled over the floor, the bears will be able to pick all of them up as the particle size are big and the farm workers also will be able to pick all of them up as well due to the sizes and this is easy to manage than mash feed. The last and bonus tip I have for you is about the use of multivitamin. Multivitamin plays a major role in helping the bears not only to digest their feed properly but also make sure that there is better feed conversion. So ensure to include multivitamins occasionally for your poultry bears for optimum production. Please and please subscribe to my channel and also click the bell icon to get instant update whenever I upload a new video. Give this video a like comment and share for others to benefit you can also use the end screen showing right now to watch other interesting videos thanks and god bless see you in my next video peace out